Here's another home improvement tip from Todd and Todd. Okay, if you're watching this video today, I'm guessing you're having a slight problem with your sash being difficult to move up and down, or it might be out of alignment. Uh, typically, the, the problem that we have here is that one or both sides of the window has come loose from its shoe that supports the window at the bottom and counterbalances its weight. So if you have a situation where at least one side will flop like this, or if you try to tilt it in, it, it feels like it's going to fall out or it's not supported. Uh, likely what's happened is one of the pins or both of the pins have come loose from their supporting shoe. So what we're going to take a look at is how to remedy that situation. The first thing to do is to unlock the window and then open it carefully and we're go what we're going to do is we're going to remove this sash completely from the window frame. So you're going to uh, tilt the window down for cleaning, but you're going to be careful to make sure that it stays in a level position. And then as soon as you can get it in that level position, you're going to, this one you can see is, is not supported, but this one is on the left side. So what I'm going to do is just lift up on the left side and then tilt the, uh, the sash up like this and out. Now you can see that there are two pins, one on the right, one on the left, both of which should be supported by shoes inside the frame. For right now, we're just going to have you leave the sash next to the window and we'll take a look at step two. The only tool that you're going to need here is a medium-sized screwdriver like this. Now the first step that you want to do is to look inside and you're going to see a shoe that rides up and down inside this frame. And inside that shoe, there's a little receiving channel that looks like a U. It has one open end. And that little uh, silver U, if you stick your screwdriver in, you can turn it right, or you can turn it to a horizontal position or an upright position. When it's in the uh, horizontal position where the open end is, is horizontal, you can then move this whole shoe up and down inside that frame. And you, you'll feel that it is spring-loaded and that's the counterbalance for the weight of the sash. What you want to do is if it's all the way at the top or someplace in the middle, you want to make sure that you turn that little shoe so that it's unlocked with the open part horizontal, then push down about three-quarters of the way, and then turn your screwdriver to turn that uh, shoe to where that open end is pointed up. Now it's locked in position. Then do the same thing on the other side. You want to make sure that these two are approximately in the same position so that they're level. So that's the second step. Once you have the two shoes in, in a level position and they're both locked, now you can take your sash like this and you can put the pins back into those shoes just by getting one close to the pin, the other side you tilt in and then you just, you'll feel it lock into the shoe and then you can tilt the window up like that, close and lock the window and now you have it in a locked position and the shoes are now supporting the sash. And you should have no problem uh, with the sash being supported up and down, counterbalancing the window. That's all there is to it.